everyone and welcome to New Look, New Life Cosmetic Surgical Arts. I'm Dr. Karolinski, I'm a cosmetic surgeon. And mm -hmm. today we're doing a primary breast augmentation of a young woman who wants to have her breasts a little bit fuller. It's an operation that uh, has profound effect on a woman, not, not only physically but also psychologically in a very positive way. I always use what's called tumescent anesthesia. So I always inject my patients with numbing medication. Um, it helps to do two things. Number one, there is essentially no bleeding during surgery. And number two, when the patient wakes up, she has almost no, no pain. We've also learned over the years that having a bloodless field greatly reduces risk for capsular contracture, which is one of the most common and kind of peskiest complications when it comes to breast augmentation surgery. Okay, now that we're prepped and ready to go, we're going to start with the incision. In this particular case, it will be an inframammary incision. Um, this particular approach is, uh, is actually quite nice uh, for the surgeon and for the patient because when we go through the inframammary crease or slightly below it you have direct access to the muscle you don't fiddle with the architecture of the breast and the chances of a young patient being able to breastfeed after having breast implants is much higher because the anatomy of the nipple areola complex and the milk ducts are completely preserved once we make uh, our way down to the muscle, we then go through the muscle very carefully, cauterizing all the little vessels so that there's no bleeding. And then we get underneath the pectoralis major muscle. This is why we call um, this particular procedure a submuscular breast augmentation. Once I'm underneath the muscle, I'm able to gently develop a pocket and then use special equipment to be able to see inside the pocket to ensure that there's no bleeding, that all the muscle strands are taken away, and the pocket is nice and neat to receive the implant. The next step is to ensure that the field is completely dry, and then we're able to put the implant in place. Okay, now that both implants are in, we're able to set, sit the patient up a little bit, ensure good symmetry on both sides, and then we can go ahead and close our incisions. Our incisions are always closed in multiple layers to ensure that the implant does not extrude and is well protected from, uh, from the outside. All the sutures we use are always uh, dissolvable, so there's no need to take anything out a week later. Now that we've finished closing both wounds and dressing them with uh, little stereo strips, we're going to wake the patient up and put her in a light surgical bra to wear mostly for the patient's comfort um, and then take her to the recovery room. That concludes our breast augmentation. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or would like a consultation, I welcome you to call our office at 646-559-2854 and uh, myself or my patient coordinator, uh, coordinator Jeanette will be happy to provide you with more information. Thank you for watching.